What's up, 21 Day Ab Shred Challengers? Are you ready to get this one started today? I know you're going to love this one because one, it's day 12, so we're a little bit farther along. And also, this is going to be a light cardio session. So it's going to be a hit cardio style. We're going to be doing the same routine as far as our 30 seconds of work for three rounds, but it's going to be light cardio. That way we can ease the muscles up, give us a little bit of a recovery day without fully taking off. So take it a little bit easier on this one today. Don't skip it. Make sure that you do this as I say. All right, let's get this thing started. Two minutes, got the time rolling here. Let's see. I don't think the volume's on it, but that's all right. We've got it figured out by now. So let's start with some rotations in the trunk just to get loosened up. There we go. Not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. And let's take it over to a side stretch. There we go. Very good. We are going to be using the legs today quite a bit. All right. It is going to be cardio still and pretty much nonstop. It's just not going to be as aggressive as our full hardcore hit cardio workouts. All right. Let's take it into a light jog. There we go. Good. Okay. So we've got about a minute 20 left on the warm up here. Not a whole lot of time. Very good. And take it into jumping jacks. We're just going to kind of do a combo set between um, the jog and our jumping jacks. And back to a jog in place. Good. That's it. You got this. Come on. And let's go ahead and stretch our abs out a little bit. Sit. We did work them still. So arch the back up. And relax it back down. Arch your back right back up. And back down. And relax the hips into the ground. After this, we're going to stand up to our feet. So go ahead and let's throw some arm circles in. Get the shoulders loosened up a bit. We've only got 27 seconds left. Very good. Come on. Keep those arm circles going. And reverse it back. There we go. Fantastic. Keep moving on this. There we go. And forward. Good. 12 seconds. We got about eight seconds left. And finish with our rotations. Get the back loosened. And two, one. All right, we did get a beep. That's good. So we got one minute to rest. Make sure you've got something to drink on while we're doing this workout. Um, we're still going to be moving pretty fast. So you will break a sweat on this, okay? It's not like we're just going to be sitting here twiddling our thumbs. So make sure you got something to drink. Besides that, you can get a yoga mat. Um, we don't need any dumbbells today or anything extra. So just yourself. All right, 30 seconds left. I'm going to explain the first four exercises. We're going to do high knees. Then we're going to do speed squats. So that's a body weight squat, but you're moving much faster. Then we're going to do butt kicks and we're going to do reverse lunges. So none of those are complicated, not bad at all, okay? So I'm going to get a drink here. Perfect. All right. So we're going to start high knees in about five seconds. Maybe it'll beep again. We're going to see. Does it? Yep. Okay. So we got a, we got a nice little uh, long beep. I didn't think it was going to do anything for us. So we're going to get our high knees going. Again, this isn't like our speed high knees. This is just a little bit above jogging in place. Okay. So just a little bit more than that. All right, 10 seconds left on this. Come on, you got this. After this, we're going into a speed squat. So I do want you to keep your pace up on these. It's gonna be much faster than your normal squat. All right, here we go. So I'm keeping my feet past shoulder width. You can keep them close together or closer together. I don't want them touching or anything like that. All right, good. So keep the squats going. That's it. Perfect. Stabilize yourself. Still want you going nice and low, even though you're going much faster than you normally would. Seven seconds left. After this, we're going into butt kicks. Come on, you can do it. And here we go, butt kicks. All right, so keeping the hands down, trying to bring those heels all the way back and touch your heels to your hands, to the palm of your hands. Mine aren't quite going that far, but definitely making an attempt at it. 15 seconds. All right, after this, we're going into a reverse lunge. 
Good. You got it. Come on. Keep moving. We've got about five seconds left. Reverse lunge. And here we go. So you're going to step back. Bring it back to center. Step back. Bring it back to center. Good. That's what I'm talking about. You got this. Come on. Keep moving. Then after we get through this exercise, we're on our first 30 second rest. So, you can't tell me that wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. Still got a good cardio session in, but not killer, killer intense. Nothing like that. Okay. And relax. 30 seconds. We get to rest now. So, next thing. We're going to be repeating that again. I want you to keep about the same pace. No need to speed up or anything like that. We're just going to focus on keeping a consistent pace today. 15 seconds. Get you something to drink real quick. Good. All right. Here we go. We're going to get this knocked out in three, two, one, high knees. All right. Come on. Let's work together on this. Get those arms moving. Get them cranking. We're not going to stop. I want you to just try to match my taps. I know you can hear it tapping off the hardwood floor here, so try to see if you can match that speed. Exactly. There we go. Good. 10 seconds. We got our speed squats coming up next. Remember, stand with a wider stance or shoulder width, but no closer than that. All right, here we go. I see the closer you bring your feet together, it does work the muscles differently, but it's hard to do it. Well, it's not hard. It's, it's, you can injure yourself a lot easier when your feet are close together and you're moving in a squat um, movement really fast. So, I don't want you injuring yourself. It's easier to stabilize with a wider stance and keep a fast pace. All right, five seconds. Good, we got butt kicks coming up. And here we go, butt kicks. There we go. All right, again, try to see if you can put your heel into your palm. Make sure your hands are against your butt. There we go. Keep the knees pointed down at the ground and keep a consistent pace here. There we go. All right, after this, we got reverse lunges and then we've got our final round coming up. Good. In three seconds. One. Okay. Really, nope. Re reverse lunge. I can't talk. Reverse lunge. Here we go. Okay. That's it. We got this. Very good. Keep moving. Stepping back and forward. Back and forward. We got 10 seconds left. There we go. Almost there. Don't stop. Come on. Reverse lunges, then a rest. Okay, so now we get to rest legitimately. 30 seconds. We've got our last round coming up. So again, maintain your pace, all right? Then we get our full minute of rest after that, and then we're going on to our second full circuit, okay? Second set. All right, 12 seconds till we start. You ready for this? Let's do it, let's get those knees up, good form. No slacking for sure. I don't care if you wanna speed up, but I definitely don't want you slowing down. All right, here we go, here we go. Perfect. So again, trying to match my beat. I know you can hear that rhythm. See if you can match it. We got 19 seconds left. Just keep moving, bringing those knees up, tap the toe to the ground. There we go. That's it. Don't slow down. Keep moving. We've got our speed squats coming up next. Three seconds. Almost there. And here we go. Speed squats. So once you've got your feet planted, heels are on the ground. I'm even taking my feet wider on this set. Good. There we go. You got it. Keep moving on this. I'm keeping my hands on my hips. If you want, you can keep your hands out in front. It does make it a little bit more of a challenge. Not a whole lot, but definitely a little bit more of a challenge. Nine seconds left. We've got butt kicks coming up next. Come on, we can do this. Three seconds. Damn. All right, butt kicks. Here we go. Definitely can tell that when your quads tighten up, butt kicks are harder to do. So try to keep a good pace on this. You're gonna wanna slow down because your muscles are tight, but don't. And after this, we've got reverse lunges. 
Come on. We can do it. Five more seconds, give or take. That's it. Three seconds. Two, one. Here we go. Stepping back. Okay, this is the last exercise before our one minute of rest comes up. So no stomping, no slowing down. Let's get through it. I'm gonna make this 21 day ab challenge count. There we go. Very good. Okay, okay. Almost there. We've got 10 seconds left. Good. Six more seconds. That's it. Three, two, one. Okay, we got one minute. Now we're going to be moving on to our second round, our second group of exercises, which are going to be invisible jump ropes. We're going to do high knees, okay? We're going to do low jacks, and we're going to do mountain climbers. These will be a little bit harder in sequence, just the way I have them placed, but overall, it's still going to be about the same difficulty level, okay? So, catch your breath. Get some water again, whatever you're drinking. Whew. There we go. All right, get pumped up. Let's get through the second round. Make it happen. We've got about 15 seconds till we start. All right, invisible jump ropes. And don't get fancy with these. Just remember, keep your hands up. A lot of people want to drop their hands down when they do invisible jump ropes. Don't pay attention to it, okay? Here we go. So invisible ropes, feet together, toes together, just barely coming off the ground. Keep your hands up, pay attention to them. Actually pretend like there is a jump rope handle in both hands. Good. There we go. Come on. You can do this. Don't be doing tricks with me here. There you go. Good. From this, we're going into high knees. Cool thing about jump ropes are, you can actually look down and flex your abs when you're doing it and get a really good ab workout. All right, here we go, high knees. I'll show you on the next set. I'll try to remind you to do it. It makes you actually flex your abs when you're doing it. So it kind of works on as you're doing the high knee or the uh, jump ropes. All right, 16 seconds left. I'll stop rambling now. Almost there. We've got 10 seconds on this. Then we're going into low jumping jacks. Seven seconds. In three, two, one. Okay, so with the low jack, your knees are bent and you're staying in the down position. So it's kind of like a squat hold, but you're doing a jumping jack, obviously, okay? So keep it down on this, good. Here we go. And from this exercise, we're gonna be dropping it into a mountain climber. Good, which will be tough. Probably one of the hardest exercises we do today, but you can do it. Good, three, two, one, here we go. All right, so switching left and right, left and right. Keep a solid pace. It doesn't have to be super fast. I don't want to be in super slow either. Modify if you need to by propping yourself up, but keep moving. Here we go. We got about 12 seconds. Good. We got eight seconds. Almost there. Five seconds. Two, one. Okay, we got 30 seconds, relax. I know that shirt or that uh, exercise can kind of be a pain in the butt because your shirt tries to ride up, but it's normal. There's probably not anybody around you anyway, so don't worry about it. Okay, starting back with our invisible jump ropes. Like I was saying last time, when you do these, once you get going, look down and you can feel your abs will naturally flex up on you. Okay, I won't be looking down because I'll be talking to the camera, but you try it. Okay, so here we go. Before you start doing that, make sure you're doing the, the jump ropes correctly. Arms up, feet together. And then once you have it, chest back. Look down. There you go. Flex those abs. And they'll tense up more than they normally do. Good. That's it. You got this. See if you can keep them tight the whole time. Keep them tight. All the way through. There you go. Good. We got three seconds. And... High knees, straight into it, don't stop. Want that rhythm going. There you go, good. Come on, from this, we're gonna be taking it into low jacks. I want that transition from one exercise to the next. Good. You can do this with high knees, remember. It's a little bit more than that 
slow jog that we do for our warm up. Not much, just a little. Five seconds straight into low jacks. And here we go, without missing a beat. Good. All right, 30 seconds on this. You're in that squat hold position, staying low. So keep it down, keep moving. Come on, your heart rate should be elevated, but nothing uncontrollable. Okay, good. We got this, 10 seconds left. Then we're taking it into mountain climbers. Almost there. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go, mountain climbers. All right, last exercise before our rest. So push through on this one. You get to recover for 30 seconds, which is more than enough time. Good. Here we go, come on, 17 seconds. We've got one more round coming up. Good, you got this, 10 seconds. Almost there. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, relax, 30 seconds. Very good. So this is our last round coming up. Again, I want you to see if you can transition from one exercise to the next without ever missing a beat. Just straight into it, no pausing. The first three exercises kind of all flow together, so you should be able to. When you go from standing to the mountain climbers, you gotta put a little bit of a break in there. All right, five seconds, here we go. Let's see what we can do. So abs tight, invisible ropes. Let's go. All right, so this rhythm we're on right now, whether you're matching mine or not, I'm gonna see if I can maintain that exact beat right there. From one exercise straight into the next. Let's see if I can get it. We got high knees coming up. Very good. Come on, that's it. Three, two, one. All right, straight into high knees. I'm trying to keep that same pace that I started with on the invisible ropes. Good. From this, we're going into low jacks. There you go, that's it. Keep working, keep working. Come on, keep that pace up. Keep that pace up. We're going to be done with this round soon enough. Nine seconds. Low jacks are coming up. Four seconds. Two, one. Low jacks, good. Keep it down, keep it down. Work with it. Don't stop, you got this. We're almost finished with it. You're doing good, you got 20 seconds left, and then it's straight into mountain climbers. Come on, keep those knees bent. Stay down, work the calves. Just a little bit with this. Here we go, eight seconds. You can do it. We have a full minute of rest coming up as soon as we get through our mountain climbers. Two, one, here we go. Okay. So, how'd you do with that pace? Were you able to match your pace all the way through? I think my low jack slowed down a little bit, but the other two were spot on. This one's definitely gonna be a little bit slower, but that's okay. All right, we got 10 seconds, then we get a minute rest. Good, five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, one minute, get some water. Ooh, breathe a second. Slow it down, relax those calves. Another type from the low jacks and the mountain climbers. It's good for you, but all right. So now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be jogging in place. That's just like our warm up. So it's almost a high knee, <laughs> okay? But not quite, just a little bit less than that. Then we're gonna do plank jacks on the ground. We're gonna do skipping in place. And if you don't remember quite how to skip, pause this workout, practice a couple times. I literally had to practice before I started this today, just to make sure that I got the movement down. Then we're doing quarter speed squats. So it's like the half speed squats we did earlier, but less motion. All right, jogging in place. Two, one, here we go. Now with this last round, there is some up and down motion from standing to the ground to standing. That gets exhausting, that's why I put it in there though, okay? And you can keep it pretty low key on this jogging in place for this last round. You can kind of still use this to catch your breath. Shouldn't be too exhausting for you. 
Then after this, we got our plank jack. Then we're going to be doing that skipping, and it's going to be kind of a skip in place. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, on the ground, two, one, here we go. So, plank jack. So your feet are moving, just like you'd be doing a jumping jack. All right, there we go. That's it, perfect. Keep moving. We've got 16 seconds left on this. We got our skips coming up. And then we got those quarter speed squats. Eight seconds. Five more seconds. And three, two, one, up to your feet. All right, so this one, you're kind of skipping. There's a little bounce in the air. That's where you're popping that knee up. So, it took me a second to do this one moving forward. And then once I got a couple reps, I was able to do it standing in place. I want you to try to do the same thing. If you've got room to skip freely without running anything over, go for it. Five seconds. Three, two, one, quarter speed squats. So this one, you're only doing a small movement, but I want you to squat as fast as you can. You're going to feel this one in the calves. You're going to feel it in the quads. And you're going to feel it in the lungs. Your heart's working. That's a good thing, though. 15 seconds. And I'm pretty much not straightening my legs back out. I'm staying kind of in that quarter position all the way through. We're just moving. Four seconds and we rest. And, okay, relax, 30 seconds. So we got two more rounds on that. Two more rounds. Starting with our light jog, and then the pace pretty much picks up from there. I kind of made it easier exercise, and then a little bit more difficult as we moved along. All right, 12 seconds. Do we good. We got six seconds. There we go. All right, jogging in place. Two, one. Okay. So again, this is a light jog. So you can still almost use this jogging in place as a time to catch your breath. At least that's what I'm doing. So even though I'm still breathing a little bit harder than I'd like, but I think that's because I'm talking to you as well. But use this to catch your breath. We've got plank jacks coming up though. All right, eight seconds. We've got five seconds. Going into plank jacks. Two, one, okay. So here we go. Feet are moving in a jumping jack position. You're in a push-up plank position, holding it. Good. Once you find a pace you like, stick with it. Keep your abs tight on this. This does work the abs as well. Okay. We've got our stationary skips next. There we go. Seven seconds. Doing good. Three, two, one. Okay. Here we go. So. Getting these skips in, that's it. Come on, we got this. I think the shoe just came untied. Oh well, we're almost done. As long as I don't trip and break my neck on this, we should be all right. <laughs> At least I hope so. All right, get those knees up. We got quarter squats coming up next, but we got eight seconds left. And then we got our final round, okay? So we're almost there. Two, one. Okay, here we go. Speed squats. So again, quarter squat position. Just moving as fast as you can. I still got my feet past shoulder width for stabilization reasons. You can move yours in a little bit closer if you want. But don't bring them all the way together. Okay. We got 10 seconds and counting. Get the weight on those heels. Keep moving. Here we go. Five seconds. Two, one, and relax. Okay. Ooh, relax. I guess I should tie my shoe. So you catch your breath, get some water. This is our final round coming up. Oh, so let's make this one our best one yet with our starting jog in place. All right. See, I'm just starting to loosen up. Now that we got the uh, light cardio, feels good. Feels really good. All right. Six seconds left. Six seconds. Almost there. All right. And... Here we go, so this is our last round. So we're pretty much through at this point, but let's not slack off on this last round. Let's get it out. I know I always say that, but I'll continually say it as well. As you'll hear it one time when you're slacking, just a little bit, and it'll perk you up. 
and it also helps remind me not to slack as well. All right, we got our plank jacks coming up. Let's get through these jogs. Almost there. We're just jogging around. Don't know where we're running, but we're doing it. All right, here we go. Plank jacks. Moving those feet. Good. Feet in, feet out, feet in, feet out. Perfect. That's it. You got this. Come on. You're doing excellent. We've got about 15 seconds left. There we go. From this one, we're going to be doing our skip in place. Or, if, like I said, if you got room for it, you can do a physical skip somewhere. Four seconds. Three, two, one. Up two feet. All right. So skip it in place. It definitely looks funny. <laughs> I can see myself in the monitor of the camera. It's definitely funny looking. But that's okay. All right. So the idea is get that knee up really explosive. Because it takes a lot of uh, power to bring your knee up, to bring your leg off the ground. So if you can get that with that little hop in there, a little skip, it's definitely a good cardio exercise. All right, quarter squats, here we go. Especially when you pair it up with something like this. All right, let's keep the pace up. Keep your hands off your hips on this one if you're doing it like I was. Let's make everything on this one. Give it our all. All right, pick that, pick that pace up. Pick it up. Whew, it's hard to talk when you're tired. All right, come on, we're almost there. 12 seconds, wait on your heels, keep moving. Keep moving. You can do this, come on. Five seconds. A few more seconds. And that's it. All right, 21 day ab challengers. Done, done with another day. Day 12 in the books. Lucky 13 coming up tomorrow. So keep your nutrition on point as always. I can't wait to see you at the end of this thing. Peace.